Thank you for tuning back into the Almost Friday podcast. We have a great guest today, great episode for you. It's on the longer side. We talked to Chappelle Lacey, our friend. We it, just we just couldn't stop talking. Couldn't you know, stop that's talking. why it's a little bit of a longer episode. Too much, too much jazzy, good conversation. Uh, that's what good conversation is. It's like jazz, you know. It's, it's a little bit of here, it's a little bit of Oh, where's that going, you know? But before we get into the episode, we got to talk to you about ZocDoc. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Go to ZocDoc.com slash Almost Friday and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash Almost Friday. ZocDoc.com slash Almost Friday. And thank you to our sponsor, Game Time. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code FRIDAY for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code F-R-I-D-A-Y Friday for $20 off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets. Lowest price guaranteed. I'll tell you this. I'm going to use game time to try to go to the Clippers Mavs mm-hmm. playoff series. Let's get into the app. <laughs> Welcome back to the Almost Friday podcast. Guys. Hey, guys. I just burped, but we have a special, a very special guest today. Super special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, Chappelle Lacey. Hi. It's always funny when people bring me up as special guests. Mm-hmm. I want to know what is special about me. Well, we just don't really have guests that exactly. often. Exactly. So every guest guests. You guys are special. liars. I'm leaving this bitch. Every <laughs> guest is special. Yeah. Every, yeah. Every. I was like, dude, they probably tell every guest that. We do. Not that I care. I'm not insecure or anything. No. Yeah, Who we is? do. We do tell every guest they're special. We, right. You're the yeah. first guest uh, to be wearing a corn shirt, so that's pretty sick. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, because you guys are younger than me, though. Mm, how old are you? Thirty-seven. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. Younger. The thing about it, bro. Come on. I can look at your face. Well, I. See how old do you think I am? Twenty-three. <laughs> I, that feels good. It that feels does? good to hear. I'm 28. Oh, I was five years old. No, I know, but it's a big difference. In the 20s, the, right, those are right. like those gaps are huge. Those are yeah, that's a big difference. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Because like, I'm 37, and when I talk to people that are like 33, I'm like, okay, you know, like feel like we're kind of like roughly around yeah. the same. But area. 24 to 26, yeah, your so brain right. develops you're right. fully. I was talking shit. I came, okay. on, I came on aggressive. That was, that you, was totally my You didn't fault. say anything I haven't said to myself. Okay, okay. That's I'm fair. 25, so technically my brain is now fully developed. No, you've no, done too many drugs and yet. drinking to not fully yet. develop. That's true. Wait, I thought it was 27. Is it 27? It's around there. 27, the brain is developed. For males. <sighs> males. Let's I check. can hear Emily firing away on the board. Yeah, for males. Here we go. Here we go. 24. Okay. What? It continues to evolve up until... I'm, I'm still holding 24. out. I feel like they're lying to us. Or on 20, this one says 25, so never trust the internet. 23 I need it. to 25. 23 to 25. This can't be okay. the maximum. Do you feel fully developed? No. <laughs> Not even close. I, uh, I think I've... Yeah, I actually think... I know you're kidding around. But I think I've done so much damage to my brain. I think all the whippets we did that at that one concert probably yeah. took me back a year and a half. I think at least. so. You ever done a whippet? The, hell no, dude. Look, okay, that was, yeah. our, that was our, no, no, no. I'm anti whippet too, but we, we went to uh, the Grateful Dead or Dead Co. And um, they make like drugs fully legal on like a certain street. Like cops are there and they don't care that people are like selling drugs and stuff. And people are walking around with balloons full of whippets, and you can just buy them for like five bucks. Hey, so wait, oh, you just get, you can just do it. You don't need the can. No no, 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 they pil- they, they blow it, it into you. a balloon, and you're just everyone's walking around with a balloon full of whippets. Like seventy year old dudes are doing whippets. But all it does is make you pass out, right? No. Sometimes, but if you don't pass out, if our buddy Chet passed out and he knocked over an old man. And that was Aww. that was a scene, but we did. That was a scene. <laughs> we we had a great time. It just yeah, it feels like uh, you're. I don't know. You're, you get like a rush. Yeah, and your brain just feels like. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it's it. It's almost like yeah, because I, I see what it does to people, but like I'm like, what are they feeling? It's like, have you ever had to use laughing gas at the dentist? Yes. Okay, it's like that, but like times five. Do you oh wow! So it's basically just that. The first time you hit a jewel, or I've never done a jewel. Damn. Have you ever done nicotine? Uh, like a cigarette? Yeah. Yeah. I've had a, I smoked a cigarette. Hey, I, I think a jewel. I've done some things, guys. <laughs> okay. The the first like nicotine buzz you've ever had times thirty, and it's just your brain is kind of what it, it feels great. See, I was disgusted by nicotine, so I didn't really get the kick. That's so good. I was like, oh, it tastes bad. Well, so I'm the same way, but right? I think whippets are sick. <laughs> but I wouldn't do them again. What? Sorry, we can t- bleep out your age. How old are you? Twenty five. Okay. Damn. 
Why y'all make me feel old? <laughs> <laughs> are you ten years sober? I saw. It. Yeah, ten years. So what are you sober? Well, from? Ten, ten years al- alcohol. Alcohol mm. guy. I, I think it's like three years. Uh, no marijuana. Oh wow! Yeah, I hated weed, and and I was smoking. I was when I was every time I would smoke weed, I'm like, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> every same. time, every time I smoked, I go, why the fuck? This is stupid. And then I just stopped. So I didn't even smoke weed for a long time. It was that's very short lived. That's so that's how I feel. Where like I'll take like an edible, and I start to freak out about it, and then I throw my other edibles away because like I just every <laughs> single time <laughs> I do, I'm like, guy. this is so dumb. Well, yeah, because like I don't know we're. I worry about the the long term of smoking, so I just do yeah I like to do the tiny edibles. So but every single what, time because like, of lungs and shit. Yeah, I think Snoop Dogg's doing fine. Well, he's like he's like <laughs> I mean, so is Ozzy Osbourne. You know, he's, did he smoke a lot of weed? He did everything under the sun, and he's I mean, look at him now. Look up a picture of Ozzy Osbourne right now. It Who's looks free, like he's, huh? He looks like he's held up by wires. I'm picturing you scared and high like a drug addict when the <laughs> cops are there and you're flushing pills down the toilet. It's just CBD capsules. So, is, how so I is this your don't do drugs commercial? No, no, no. <laughs> Emily, is, this, pull, is this what got you? The pull up. Uh, no, I still do it. I, I mean, I had an edible two nights ago. Oh, I just, every oh time, you can't stop. Every time. Well, I can't. I just. Oh, that's him right now? No, that's these are good photos of him. There's really sad. You're just clicking on the same photos. <laughs> <laughs> You're just clicking on the photos we're already looking at. Oh, that's a good. That's dope. Look at him. He is dope. But all right, this isn't help. Look up. <laughs> stop, stop. I, I searched Ozzy Osbourne 2024. Yeah, she, Look, she uh, did what you asked. Ozzy Osbourne horrible photo. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne. Know. So that's, we got. That's we got, mean. Yeah. Right. Oh, there you go. That's what you. Oh, mean. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. I could look up a That's bad wife. photo of you and you would okay. look ugly. Okay, listen, like. first of all, they caught him in motion. Yeah. No, there's... To be fair, they caught him in motion. I mean, they caught him at the most... They probably took... Because, they, you know, those photographers, those TMZ people, yeah. they have the, the photos that... What is it? Shotgun photos or something? I don't know. The autumn, where yeah, it's like... like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Read and this. that's the one that they chose. Now you do feel bad? He's got Parkinson's dick. No, I don't feel bad. He did. He's talked about how drugs ruined his life, and he it's like an anomaly that he's alive. Dude, that's how I would look if you took a picture of me walking to work. <laughs> that's, honestly, that's, it'd, be, it'd be that bad. <laughs> With your hip popping out for no reason. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Damn, so, he so, looked like a bad bitch right there, though. I tell you that much. Ozzy Osbourne held up by wires. Let's see what that pulls up. That was yeah. that was back when all the rock stars were just hot, looked. Like looked like hot chicks, pretty much. Yeah, yeah that was the thing. Like that was the thing. Eighties. What do they call it? Hair metal. Hair metal. Yeah, yeah, hair metal. Like your uh, your um, poison, mm. whatever. All it right, good there. Let's, let's move on. Wait, Chappelle, tell us. I about... couldn't find anything that supported my argument. Let's just <laughs> move on. Tell you guys about Brochella. Yeah, yeah. This is my first Coachella experience, and uh, I don't think I could go again because the way I went, I had like an access. Artist oh, pass. oh, that's sick. But even still, still wouldn't go. If you can give me that same pass, still wouldn't go. You'd be like, yo, you get to hang out with blah, blah, still wouldn't go. So you There's went just so many people. You went sober? Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I don't think I'd be able to do that. So, oh, oh, really? I don't, I Interesting. Don't, so is I don't that why like I didn't concerts. have fun? Actually, I, I, it was cool seeing, like, no doubt. Um, dude, okay, so I'm watching Tyler, the creator. I'm a big Tyler, the creator geek. And... I'm in like the like the VIP section. You ready to hear who was like around me? Mm-hmm. Right? You ready? Um, Justin Bieber, his wife, uh, Rihanna, Lil Yachty, um, Billie Eilish, Jaden Smith, and then uh, whose guy was fucking the grave? Oh, oh, Barry uh, Keegan. Barry Keegan. Uh, yeah. I Holy think he was there. shit. It might have been him, might not have been. No, I think he was there because his girlfriend is a musician. Perform, yeah. Oh, she is? Yeah. yeah. Who's his girlfriend again? Wow. Sabrina Carpenter. Sabrina Carpenter. Oh, I love Sabrina Carpenter. Yeah. There's yeah. this whole I video. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she's like, she's, so she's from Disney Channel. <laughs> I was very convincing, huh? Yeah. I know. She's a Disney Channel person. So oh, like, she's from OG Disney? OG, I think. Can we see Sabrina Carpenter? Yeah, she's really pretty. Pull her up. Um... His set That's looked incredible. Oh, Tyler's was goaded. That I could watch sober. And I was just like, like I was exhausted. My feet hurt all day. Oh, wow. That's a girl? Should That's a Brie Carpenter? Yeah. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> good for Barry, man. Yeah, good for Barry. Beats the grave. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why'd you fuck that grave, dog? Just stay with this. <laughs> this video. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this video. Of her. 
He's rolling his face off. He's rolling? Oh, yeah. This is, this is her oh, yeah. set? Yeah. Is she yeah. performing it? Where's he at? If, yeah. He... Oh, I feel like the only reason you would have a face mask on there is A, to like obviously not get recognized, but you're going to get recognized. You're yeah. Pretty- well, he was wearing, he was rocking that the whole time, but yeah. Oh, really? But like, dude, like that, like I said, that area, and then it's just me. Did you talk to any of uh, <laughs> Hell no, I didn't talk to any of them. Not even like Jaden Smith? <laughs> nah. I don't know. You should have bullied Jaden Smith. Funny story about Jaden Smith. I was at uh, Camp Flognaw, uh, the, recent, the recent one, and... Um, I was like the same and had the artist pass or whatever and it was like backstage just chilling and like in those situations I kind of just like stand out to the side you know it's like the same way I would be at a party I'm like where's the nearest fucking seat you know what I mean like where's a chair I want to sit down and so I'm just like kind of off to the side and Jaden and I think I don't know who he's talking to or whatever and um, his security guard was like staring at me and he was like just mean mugging me and I was like dog I don't give a fuck about that kid like, I don't fucking, what, are you, what the fuck are you looking at me for? But he wouldn't stop staring at me. And then finally, because we're like, we're like this. You're, you're Jaden. I'm, I'm right here. And the security's like right there. And then uh, his security finally walked up to me. He goes, Chappelle Lacey, I'm a big fan. And I was like, <laughs> dog, you want to lead with that? <laughs> you should have started with that. That's Instead awesome. of just fucking staring me down. He goes, I oh, know, man. I, you know, security shit, blah, 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 blah. He's like, can I get a picture? And I was like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> You want one with me of everybody that's here? <laughs> I'm the guy. I was like, I'll take it. That's you awesome. Know? That's awesome. But it, it is kind of weird being around that that level of fame. That's a star studded right? cast right there. It, 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 like it, like I felt like I'm like I shouldn't be here. Yeah, you know. But I was there. I'll how, take it. I'll how'd you it. How'd you get the passes? Do you know someone performing or? Uh, so my one of my buddies is tight with the owner. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. Do you go yeah. to a lot of festivals? <sighs> The la- I mean, the last one I went to before that was Camp Flognaw, but that one was cool. I actually like that one. Mm. Coachella's, I guess Coachella's just different because, like, I don't know, there's just so many different types of music that it's a little bit overwhelming, whereas Camp Flognaw is kind of like, you know what you're going to get. Gotcha. Does that make sense? And everyone yeah, kind of fits the mold. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess, I, I guess I'm not anti-festival. I think, I, think, I think that's what it was. It was just too many artists, and I was just like, what the fuck's going on? Mm. You did, know? Uh, did you see Grimes' set? I did. I miss Grimes. Did you hear about it? Nuh-uh. What happened? Paul, Emily Paul. I, I saw that clip. She uh, took, a, she took sh- a shit on stage? Apparently, it was <laughs> the worst performance ever at Coachella. Wow. Really? That's what everyone's saying. Something about like her files weren't synced up, so none of the music was working, and instead of like going along with it, she kept pausing the show. Is it's, she a DJ? Yeah. I think she makes... Like ethereal fucking It's EDM. Yeah. It's EDM. It's like fairy music. <laughs> it's it's great. I like it. I don't I, know how to describe it. It's like I, fairy I pop. Bro, Elon gonna be pissed for us making it in front of his girl I like know. that, yo. Oh what's wait, <laughs> like, scroll oh, down a little bit. Talking about my girl. <laughs> what, Is it, are they still together? I think they're divorced. They're divorced? Yeah. They are, yeah. I don't think they had last wow. two. They had a baby, are they? though. I never... Yeah, they had a baby with that was like all the em- letters. Emily just go to Oh yeah. <laughs> Remember? Emily yeah. go to uh, just letters letters and numbers and shit. Skip in a little. She kept pausing. She did this probably six times. Full screen. Wait, pause. She got a list. She, she sounds like the babysitter <laughs> from Incredibles. <laughs> yeah, she does. Like, go back and play. Yeah, she does. Listen. Go back and play. <laughs> Keep going. Dude, this has got to be the worst feeling in the world. Oh, in the full video, she does this like six times where the music's going, and then she literally here. It probably. I feel bad that she has to address it, and, and she's not really good at addressing. <laughs> no, she's not. She's, she's not very articulate she's at all. Right yeah, now, yeah. Right. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh damn. Oh, dude. It literally sounds like Ophelia. 
<laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, oh, we have to show Chappelle. Yeah, yeah. Can I show you my favorite video on the internet? Yeah. Okay. Dude. <laughs> of course. You guys are you guys are making me feel young now. Now I don't feel old. Good. You guys are showing you were, me all dude, the cool the, shit. You were just hanging out with Bieber and shit. Yeah, what that's, are you talking that's about? The youngest bro, you thing that's yeah. funny. That's yeah. not funny, but bro, homeboy was just standing there barefoot. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. And I was like, bro, that's awesome. Goaded. Did, did he have hairy toes or were they? Uh, I couldn't really see because the way like the way the lights were or whatever. But I, I would assume he does, you know, because he was all bearded up, scruffy, and you know he had a hood on. And he was just like enjoying the show. I, and then he was just like, uh, and then I looked down. I was like, oh, you don't like shoes? <laughs> <laughs> I saw a video of him trying to enjoy Ice Spice's performance, and he was just kind. Of, he looked like. Intrigued? Yeah, he was like, I think I'm trying to figure this trying out. Trying to figure it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah, trying yeah. so hard to be like... <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. I was, you could tell I was, he did not enjoy himself. Yeah. Yeah I, I want, yeah, I wonder what he thinks as, like, a fucking spectator of, like, music. That you would know? be interesting to know. Right? right? Taking a quick break to talk about cuts. Okay, guys, the cuts clothing items that we received, were, they are my favorite, you know? You know, I uh, the fabric quality is breathable. It, uh, it sets the standard for softness and performance. And uh, how do I feel when I'm wearing cups? I feel confident. I feel sharp. I feel unstoppable. What about you? How do you feel when you're wearing cuts pants? Hell, I sleep in the fuckers. I sleep in the damn things. Hell, I hell I bathe in the fuckers for a limited time. Hell, only. I wear the fuckers on a plane. Hell, I wear the fuckers to uh, to trial. And they for... fit tight, sleek. They, <laughs> they they make my ass stand out. Which if if you know me, that's a big plus. I need that caboose to pop. For a limited time, our listeners get 20% off your entire order when you use code FRIDAY at checkout. That's 20% off your order at CutsClothing.com with promo code FRIDAY. Please support our show and tell them we sent you. Experience the perfect blend of style and comfort with Cuts Clothing. And that's code FRIDAY. Let's get back Back. into the episode. But But dude, I'm telling you, everybody was going off for Tyler. Tyler ever fucking had everybody packed the fuck in. That's sick. I love that dude. Oh, dude, I love his music. I love that dude. That, I see him, I see him all the time, like just at like swingers. You guys ever heard of swingers? No, Mm-mm. it's like a diner or whatever. And I like see him around, like, like around Larchmont. And then every every time I see the dude, he's just like staring at me, and I'm like, "Bruh, fuck you looking at?" <laughs> like respectfully. And then eventually, I, and I still to this day don't even know why. But I don't know if he like thinks he knows me or something like that. Or might be a what's the, bo- the might bodyguard? Be little, might be a little sweet on you. Might be a little what? Sweet on you too. It's Tyler. But he's but, trolling people with that, right? I don't think. No, no, no. He's really. I'm pretty a sure he's man. bisexual. Yeah, yeah. He might. Do, he might be staring at you because he wants to ride you. Yeah. You ever think about that? Yeah. He wants. He wants. No, because I thought he was trolling with the. No, no dude. I think he's no. Legit. He's like he has. He's like a bisexual man. Yeah, he's like he's yeah. I th- I'm right. I'm right on this, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, he's. Should, do you want to take a five? This, <laughs> this is definitely. I feel like this, this is ruining your life. Should we? <laughs> you could have hooked up with him, is what I'm telling you. But, I, but he's trolling, right? No, dude, he's, he's trolling. He's, no, trolling he's by. like for sure. You young kids always do shit like this, where you're, you're, and you're trolling me right now. No, no, no. I, you're trolling, dude. I'm at, I'm completely he's, serious. He's a hundred percent. Yeah, you were at the set. He talked about Gerard Carmichael like trying to bang him or something, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ger- Gerard Carmichael is also bisexual. And he I knew t- that one. And yeah. he tried to hook up with Tyler because Tyler is bisexual. <laughs> this is cr- I feel like I just did a factory reset on your brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just like I thought he was trolling. Come on. You guys are fucking with me. <laughs> no. no look, I love you guys. I love Dude, this is my favorite vibe, right? <laughs> I, I love it. I love the trolling. I love the <laughs> He just takes off his odd future socks. <laughs> <laughs> Ophelia stand up. His donut fucking hat. Get rid of my golf merch. Yeah. <laughs> go to go to YouTube. I'm gonna pay for Emily to go to a class to learn how to Google things. You literally Ophelia, and you got mad. You got mad. You typed in Ophelia and you hit search in Google. I didn't know what you typed in Ophelia stand up. Yo, is that my girl Caitlin Carmody? She's on SNL. What do you think about Caitlin? Oh, she was. What I think about her. What do you mean? In what sense? Don't say it. <laughs> in a basketball sense, dude. I wouldn't sexualize one of our nation's top collegiate female athletes like oh, that. Well. One of our nation's top <laughs> athletes, period. Top athletes. I don't even like calling women females. I think that's disgusting. And Gross. I, I'm, oh. not, I'm not doing it anymore. Don't do that. <laughs> no, uh not anymore. Yeah. What do I think about her? Yeah. She cute. Oh, wait. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> 
in a basketball sense, yeah. fuck it tight. Mm. I do think she, I do think it's dope. I do think it's dope. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like she like set like another bar. I like right? I like how they're yeah. bringing back like the the bringing back eight, women la- that and just like the late eighties race wars in the NBA between Bird and Magic. Oh like, yeah, now it's like Angel yeah. Reese and yeah. I'm like, that's fun, dude. That's Give me just, that. Yeah, Give me that, that. Everyone's watching now. <laughs> it was so funny because I, I love like uh, I just love how invested people get like in like the, to where it's like. They pull it into their souls, and it's like, hey, just keep it surface level and enjoy what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I feel. Like, fucking let it, let it exist the way it exists. And then now people are just like, this double standard. I'm like, eat a dick and enjoy the fucking. <laughs> yeah. Can I say eat a dick on here? Yeah, yeah you can say uh, whatever. Yeah, Emily. Emily, eat a dick. Cool. They yeah, okay. said way uh, Eat a dick. Also, eat a dick for fucking trolling me earlier with the Tyler <laughs> shit. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. She tight. She cool. Wait, I think so he isn't dope. bisexual. No, he is. He's no, he still, is. He's confirmed by. Oh. Okay. All right, this is my favorite video. Maybe <laughs> maybe he knows me. Maybe he, maybe he saw me do stand up or something. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> so wait, what's Sorry. Your, what's your favorite video? He this is my him. favorite video ever. Explain. Okay, okay can, this is Can you give me this, the backstory? This is my okay, what the fuck this is. I used to go on this subreddit all the time <laughs> during COVID. Do you go on Reddit at all? No. Nah. All right, well, it's a place where they only post bad stand-up clips. Oh, got it. I, I know what I know what Reddit is and stuff okay. like that. Just to let you They're, know, I'm not like okay. that old. <laughs> okay, I just don't go on it. They it's on a subreddit r slash sit down. Okay, opposite of stand up. How fun is that? That's fun. That's that's good. Bingo. And then this, and this is Ophelia. Yep. <laughs> Open mic. Good morning. My name is Ophelia. That's uh, that's your name. That's it. Oh wait, I'm sorry. This is up in my night, not an anime convention. What the heck was I thinking? <laughs> Hello, my name is Ophelia. I am just so happy to be here. So, does anybody want to hear a weird story? Uh, anyone raise their hands? Hey, you. Yo, in the back. I saw that hand go up. <laughs> okay, without further delay, let's just get this show on the road so I can enjoy my night. <laughs> Anyways, so, no, um, get away. I was taking a shower one day and I was getting ready for something. I can't even remember what I was getting ready for because I have the worst memory in the planet, apparently. Um, and I thought I had to come in and use the bathroom. And, um, um, and from what I heard, what? I just noticed my, my, um, my underwear like crawl under the doorway, which was weird. It was like just inching under the doorway bit. And then she turned around and went like, uh, Ophelia, I think your underwear just crawled under the door. And I just remember going like, huh? <laughs> and, I, and then I remember thinking, what the heck was she smoking? Because what? whatever it was, I got to get her to quit fast. Because, you know, it's kind of like that one, like, illusion or hallucination or whatever, whatever the heck you want to call it. And you just Bro, you like, know my favorite thing? Is she doesn't even need the. She doesn't even need people for this. She doesn't need people. She, she doesn't. Need, she can just. Dude, she is a fucking bull in a china shop. Dude. She's just knocking shit over. She's fucking tearing it down. Like doesn't even give the the crowd any time to process anything. She what the this heck? from this from 2013, dude? Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's is, just, it, is it going viral yet? Uh, it went viral on Reddit. Let's just finish it out. It's yeah, almost done. It yeah, let's finish it out. Yeah, yeah. I got Because my favorite yeah. line's coming. Okay. It turned out to be my cat. My cat stole my underwear. Can you believe it? I know it sounds weird, right? Just hear me say it. Imagine how I was to see it. Like, my cat, like, slipped his paw under the this doorway. Is my favorite line. Got my underwear and just dragged it under the doorway. Can right you here. imagine that happening? Anybody? <laughs> Except only instead of a frat boy at a college dorm, um, it was my cat. I was in the shower, and it was daytime. Um, <laughs> and then like afterwards, I dried off and all that, and I just looked at my cat like, dude, seriously, uh, what the heck were you thinking, stealing my underwear? And I just probably my cat was just thinking, I can have underwear. Oh no. <laughs> If he actually did say that, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, no way in heck. No chance in the grave, dude. Just buzz off. <laughs> buzz off. Anyway, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You have been in a moment. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Holy it's shit. It's like, oh, dude, I actually feel like, I feel like uh, every time I watch that video, it's like when you have a panic attack, 
on an edible, and then you finally get over the hurdle, and you Dog. feel you feel okay. I feel like I was about to pass out from laughing. <laughs> Dude, that's how I feel sometimes on stage. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Okay, this a, buzz could, off. Could, buzz off. Can you guys picture this? <laughs> Raise your hand if you can picture Raise your what hand. I'm saying. And my cat was like, I can have it. <laughs> I can't remember the last bit because apparently I have the worst memory in the freaking world. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is that that's how every comic feels when no one's laughing at their <laughs> shit. We all feel like we're talking. <laughs> Like her. Dude, yeah, that's exactly how <laughs> That's it. how I feel. Bro, I don't know where the fuck I was recently. I was oh Miami, and that's how I felt. Really? <laughs> yeah, so I felt like I was just talking. <laughs> Wait, what, what club do you do in Miami? Uh, Miami Improv. <laughs> Miami's tough for comedy. Really? Oh, it's so I've never tough. done it down there. Bro, structured jokes, they're like, well, how are you doing that? <laughs> They look at you like you're fucking crazy. Yeah, they're because they get a lot of fucking just like hot crowd work people down there. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I get, and I get it. You know, that's the energy they love yeah. and shit like that. But also, like, you know, when I come up with like when I come out there and I'm like, oh, I wrote this new joke, and then they're just like, what? <laughs> you know, they they do they look at you as if you're like you're doing something totally wrong to them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's how they look at you. Like you're just like, and I'm like, hey, I'm just. Just a guy, you know. <laughs> dude, dude, it is crazy that like, no, like we know exactly how she feels. Like, oh, I've, I've felt that. I, oh, I know that exact feeling. Like, where <laughs> yeah. it just it, it literally feels like you're just like rushing through shit. <laughs> your throat's hot. <laughs> your, your, your throat's heating up, but they're like the back of your neck is freezing cold. You're like, the hot oh, throat. Man, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, the hot throat yeah. is real. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> Taking another quick break, guys. We just got to talk to you about ZocDoc again, okay? You know when you get cornered by that aunt at a family gathering and you feel like you have to bend the truth? You know the one who asks, like, when you're getting married, what's going on with that promotion? Why you still haven't moved out of mom and dad's basement? Only no. for her to not really listen to you and just judge you? No, I've never had that happen. I've had that happen to me. Really? Enter ZocDoc, the place where you can go and find and book doctors who will make you feel comfortable and actually listen to you unlike your fucking aunt. We're talking about tens of thousands of doctors, all with verified patient reviews so you can make a show of the vibes of vibing even before you get get you, you get meet in real life with ZocDoc. Treat yourself with ZocDoc. I used it. Will used to get a ward off his thumb. And it yeah, was... I had a ward on my thumb. I used ZocDoc to go get my ward off, actually before I even knew they were a sponsor. And it was really an easy process. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Go to ZocDoc.com slash Almost Friday and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash Almost Friday. ZocDoc.com slash Almost Friday. Game time. You guys, you shouldn't have to worry about when you buy tickets for your next big event, okay? You shouldn't worry at all. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. With killer last-minute deals, all-in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guaranteed. <laughs> game time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. I'm going to use game time to go watch the Mavs, uh, Clippers, playoff series, game one. I'm going to be standing there, and I'm going to be screaming, West Brick, and he's going to throw me out of the stadium, and then I'm going to be all over the news. Thanks to game time, Will will be sitting close enough to spit on the players. Last-minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals, easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area, views from your seats. That's my favorite part. I say they didn't want time. me at the game. I had to be there. They didn't want me there. Homie showed up, though. <laughs> Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, and use code FRIDAY for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code F R I D A Y FRIDAY for $20 off. Download the game time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Let's get back into the episode. Yeah, he murdered. He murdered. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, Damn, that's tight. Yeah. Wait, no. Nobody did good. How was Short Bus Steve? Short Bus Steve's the. Dude, we could talk about Short Bus Steve all day. Short Bus Steve murdered, dude. When I was in. Uh, Short Bus Steve? Tempe, Arizona. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. I'm from Arizona. I came up in Arizona. Yeah. Do you know Steve? Yeah. Short Bus uh, Steve Krause. Yeah. yeah Short yeah, Bus. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he, yeah. he got a wheelchair and shit. Yeah. That motherfucker uh, climbed the goddamn uh, Rocky Stairs. Really? Well, it's not Rocky Stairs. It's fucking Philly Stairs. Yeah. But yeah. I know what you're saying. It's a fucking movie. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. 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 He did some shit like that. Oh, I didn't know yeah, you. Yeah. I've known him for, for years. Shit, wait, you're, I forgot you're from Arizona. Yeah, I'm from Arizona, yeah. Why'd you go to ASU? Tempe. No, 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 I did uh, Tempe Improv. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I bet you did well there. It was good, yeah. It was yeah, good that's show. good, that's yeah. good. Yeah, Steve, yeah, yeah, I know Short Bus. I've known Short Bus for a minute. 
Dude, yeah. Yeah, he like, always rips it. He fucking destroyed. Yeah, they, dude, they always like, hit him up to like host and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, he always rips it. But I was telling Will, it was funny when I walked in the green room. I was like, hey, man, how's it going? He's like, what's up? I'm Shortbus Steve. It's like, cool, man. Nice to meet you. Five minutes later, I was like, hey, Steve, can I get by? He's like, it's Shortbus. Just call me Shortbus Steve, dude. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, dude. Hey, Steve, <laughs> that's hey, pretty uh, baller. Steve, uh, <laughs> yeah. Still terrified to say Shortbus. Mm-hmm. I opened up. I said, what's up? It's regular bus Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Deep three. Oh, really? Like, Deep three? Yeah. Steph Curry three? Yeah, dude. Oh. I was like, you're giving that way too much love right now. <laughs> yeah. We were like, yeah. yeah. It's like total plot, dude. Damn, half court. Yeah. Just half like, court just fucking. Mic, mic dropped. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Yeah, yeah. How you been liking going on the road and stuff? It was cool. We just, uh, I finished up uh, last week. Well, you do week. stand up too, Will? Sorry. No, Sorry. I don't. Okay, I was yeah. just checking. Okay. Um, it, was, it was cool. It was I was doing one-nighters, a lot of heliums bouncing around. Yeah, yeah. So everything was so fucking fun. Uh, the travel was a bit of a nightmare sometimes. Dude, days. travel sucks. Because I, I just booked shit late because I'm lazy. And then I'd be like, oh, I have four flights to get to Indy. And, Dog. And then they're all delayed. Indy, dude, I pretty much got to the club and walked on stage because that's how delayed my flight Damn. got. That happened twice where I was so stressed, but that didn't happen until the end of the tour, so the beginning was really Dude, cool. that's... that's <clears throat> sorry, I'm always just changing. Uh, that happened to me. Uh, like, get off the flight and, like, head right. But it, <laughs> this one was a funny one. I was in Louisville, Kentucky, and my flight was delayed. I, I got the first flight out of L.A., but then it got delayed or whatever. And it was luckily, it was a direct flight, so I wasn't landing until showtime. And luckily, the airport was only 15 minutes from the uh to the vi- to the venue or whatever so i just told them to tell i just told my reps or whatever i was like tell the opener tell the club to tell the openers to just do a little bit longer and um i pull up and i get there and then uh, i'm walking up the stairs with my bag the gm's walking up with me and uh we kind of get we're getting closer and i go did the show start yet and he goes oh no not yet and like we're getting closer to the door i was like are there people here he goes oh yeah and i go how many he goes, 12. 12? And I was like, for real? And then I was like, all right, well, let's just go to the green room. Dude, for me to get to the green room, I have to walk through the crowd. Oh, no. <laughs> and then this guy goes, this guy holding a beer goes, hey, late to your own show, huh? And I was like, everyone is. <laughs> Whole crowd's late. You know what I mean? Like, And then, dude, I, I told myself, I was like, you're doing fucking 40. Five minutes. Did you fuck? Because normally I do like fifty, like close to sixty or yeah. whatever. But I was just like, no, nah, you're doing fucking, you're doing fucking forty five minutes, you know, because it, it's twelve people, you know. And uh, I go up there and I fucking, it was like one of the best sets I think I've had. That's fucking. That's awesome. yeah. Sometimes. But it was funny though. Like everyone was laughing. Like yeah, everyone was laughing, but everyone was just scattered. Yeah. <laughs> and the room seats like three fifty. Oh so shit! So think about twelve wow. people in a room of three fifty. Wow. Yeah, Do you think people left because you were late or that was like, that was it? That's who showed no, up? No, because they didn't even start the show. Yeah, okay. Like, they would have known because the openers yeah. hadn't even gone up. Yeah. I just think I just think I didn't. I was like, I don't need to go back to Louisville. And it's funny because I, I went to college there. I cheered in, in college yeah. out in Louisville and stuff like that. And uh, yes, I was a cheerleader. Did you know that? Emily? Yes. She, yeah, has, no, she has no idea what we've been talking about the last time. Yes, right? yes, I do. All right, maybe you are bad at Google. You're no, bad at yes, <laughs> yes, I do. I know exactly what you're talking about, and you were getting into how you were a cheerleader, and I have a whole document on all your info. How you? and even And even info that you might not even have out there on the internet. Are you guys Nardwar? Mm. Dude, pull it up. I haven't read G- this. Give yet. me a Nardwar. You haven't thing. read this? No. I spent the whole entire night last give me, night. Give me, doing give me a, well, it's not let's, for let's me. See, let's see what you know. Well, about I didn't. Me. The, my bad thing is I didn't organize this document correctly. It's um, like mostly fun facts. But one thing I did want to talk about is we joke a lot about how my favorite movie is The Blind Side, and I know that the one joke that you like were how saying you know about my life. Because <laughs> I did. Because I do is my job. Nardwar? Is this fucking Nardwar? This is a Jewish Jersey Nardwar. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is Emily's favorite movie. You know how every guy has, really? a, has a fantasy of like stopping a shooting or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hers is just being a white savior. Yeah, yes. just, that's, just adopting yeah. a that's nice her, little black kid. That's her struggling. fantasy, <laughs> dude. It's still mind-boggling that The Blind Side's your favorite movie. It's like, not though. Like, like, <laughs> of all the movies out there, it's not that are my just favorite fucking movie. Great, Shawshank Redemption. I know. <laughs> like, it's Den- not my any favorite Denzel movie. movie. Anything with Denzel. In Anything it. with Denzel. She's like, yo, Blind Side. Blind Side. No, uh, it's not my favorite rips. movie. But, uh, but I do have like a really bad rap of like wa- not watching the best movies. Like they made me watch Batman. But you so like now it. I have to. 
Not really. Shit. But you'll love the next one. But like, I like movies that have like realness to them, you know? Like The Blind Side. <laughs> <laughs> but then I found out that The Blind Side was like really over exaggerated and wasn't true, which made me annoyed. Yeah, dude. Michael Orr. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> But you like, won't give Denzel a chance. <laughs> I'll, I'll give anything a chance. It's just like I have a really bad attention span. So when like there's something like Batman where everything's happening at once, and there's all this action. It's like I can't follow. You just, yeah, just when is everything's this happening. When, yes, this is real. I have a bad attention span when everything's happening all at once. There's a bunch of action. I can't. Pay. What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> you know what all you the mean? all the action that's in Blindside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. No, but it's like a. I know what you're concrete saying. Concrete storyline, and I'm not. This is not because of blind. Every movie has a concrete storyline, but what the, <laughs> what your problem is? No, I know what your problem yes. is because I have the problem too. You have your phone with you while you're watching. Movies. I did not have my phone. I have my. I phone know. With me, I, I know. I know. Not Batman. Batman in general. You have your phone watch watching movies. Yeah, forgetting I have my phone that's everywhere. the problem. It's forgetting bad. Sarah Marshall is like memento to Evelyn. <laughs> 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 she's, she's, not, like, she's not amused right now. <laughs> she is I not don't amused. even think I've seen that one. So, <laughs> so your, one? Fa- your favorite thing about me was the blind side? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I loved you in the blind side. I loved side. you in the blind side. Yeah. I wasn't in that. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I like that. I like you made a joke about how when you were explaining your story, you're like, no, it's not blindside. No, it's not. Definitely not. Yeah, it's a little inside joke on her pod. Yeah, that that's why I thought. Movie. That's why I wrote down that we had to bring that up. So. Oh, so we had to bring up the so, what else? There we go. I'm trying to think of what else you got on there. Yeah. Um, the last time you got drunk and the first time you got drunk was off wild turkey whiskey. How you know that? I do my research. I don't even know how you would know that. And you have a weird story about Southern Comfort whiskey and how like. One of our sponsors. You blacked out on Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort, the easiest liquor to black out on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was funny because he was saying how, you were saying how smooth it was, and that's why it was so easy for you to black out. I don't know how you would know that. I what? don't think I've ever told that. How do you know? How do you know? Wait, did I tell that on a pod? She's she, she, <laughs> she's running around in the tunnels exchanging information. <laughs> right? She's Emily Binder. She has to know. I, I, oh, well, so anyways, yeah, I used to kick it with these like crust punks. Right. Define what that. is it? Crusties. Crust punks. Crust. Crust punks. <laughs> See, I do my research. So I used to, <laughs> crust punks is, is like these like dirt. Go to Google Images and type in crust punks. They don't give me enough credit. And so hit images. <gasps> and like okay, these are like crust punks. They're kind of just like yeah, yeah. So like the coolest people alive. That's more street punk. Crust is like homeless. <laughs> Just a couple of yeah, yeah, guys. yeah. They look very homeless for sure. But I used to kick it with these crust punks, right? Okay, like this. They maybe? they look like the people. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Bridge, similar to that. Yeah, that yeah. dancing video. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm talking about? Oh, the- <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the- I love that shit. Um, and there's one time and they. I was hanging out with them, and uh, I was. I don't know where the fuck we were at. We were at one of the some dude's house, right? And uh, one of my homies, he sang in this like crust band or whatever. And I was just kicking with the, kicking it with them, and uh, they introduced me to Southern Comfort. This was I was still in high school, right? And uh, I was just drinking that shit because it was so smooth, it was so fucking good. And I remember I blacked I blacked out and I passed out on like a weight bench in the backyard, right? And I'm like, you know, just fucking passed out. And then I wake up to them pulling my pants down, and then they spray painted my ass yellow, and then. My homie slapped dog shit on my face. Oh. And he said, and they said, you're one of us now. <laughs> that's, how, that's what it takes to become a crust punk? Yeah. That you gotta get terrible. dog shit rubbed <laughs> your face. Dude, I was, when he, he, when he put that dog shit on my face, I wanted to kill him, but I was so drunk that I couldn't even fucking, like, move. Oh. I couldn't even fucking move. Did you ever get back at him? Because I'd be like, not today. But no, I haven't 16. seen him in years, actually. But That's, when I do, did life get back at him? I don't know. I don't know where. I don't know where he's at. Crust punks. I mean, Crust punks. punks. That's a. That's a. Fast. That's so funny. What else did you? Wow, that's crazy. You know that I story. I have that whole story I don't on know. here. Crust punk <laughs> lifestyle might not make it. That's so crazy. This episode is the best PR Emily's ever had. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What, oh, what, what else? Good wait. To wait be what else? Recognized you, for my talents. I don't know if I've ever really told that story. What, what else do you know about me? Um, How you know that? That you taught yourself how to do. Well, you're good at martial arts. I wasn't good at martial arts. Oh, oh you love, did martial. You like you like. I love it. martial arts. 
Well, and you of, love you love punk, but that's a little bit more known. And then didn't you re- you recently did um something on for this band called H two O? So and that involves like Travis Barker did something with them too. Chat GPT isn't perfect. It's it's <laughs> no, it gets just, a couple things wrong. Oh, I did guess vocals. Guess vocals for a punk rock band and then Yeah, Travis and Travis Barker was, was on also drum. behind the kit. Yeah, for, yeah. For a that's song. Sick. You journal daily. I think that's got a little bit more known. Um so yeah, you taught yourself backflips and you like cuz you like this girl in college or in high school. No, I was I loved martial art films, so I loved like Ninja Turtles, all the mm. Jackie Chan stuff. Oh, so that's why all you taught the old st- all the old like Wu-Tang where Wu-Tang Clan got their like you know, kind of like a uh, vibe from. I used to watch all those movies as a kid. And so in those movies, I would see them doing flips. And so I taught myself how to do flips when I was like five. But then... When you were five years old? Yeah, when I was Holy like five. Shit. How do you teach yourself how to do it? You just have to try. Just but then what if you fall? Shit, fucking, then you fall. It's kind of life, am I? Isn't yeah, it? it's life. Oh, it's life, of a, life of a so five-year-old. Inspired. Yeah, I was like, yeah. And it's so funny because I like every time I think about that, I know exactly where I was, what field I was in and what like, it was off like a lunch, bin, or like a, like a lunch bench or whatever, mm. like that mm-hmm. I fucking, you know, uh, flipped off of. And then I was like, Oh, I could do this. And then just kept doing it. And then, yes, I got into cheer because I had a crush on a girl. That was when I was 15. And she was sisters with someone in your punk rock band. Whoa. Oh man. What Here we your, go. What was your punk rock band in high school? How you know that? I, I did my research. Uh, that it was a ska band that I was in. It was short lived. It was called Spent Custard or something stupid like that. But was fun. Yeah. Wow. Did I say that? Yeah. Publicly. Yeah. Really? Damn, I forget, I forget what I'd be saying. Well, you, uh, you. It's hard when you're like a comedian. Wait, and wait, time out. Okay, I respect you. What do you guys know about me? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Everything she does. <laughs> Um, but to be fair, I did send this to them last night at 11 p.m. I read it. So, no, I appreciate respect. respect <laughs> Liam didn't read it. But I, Liam, I'm the only Liam one that knew you. Chappelle coming in. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, what, true, what true. Yeah, that true. is true. Yeah. True. Because you saw me do that, don't tell. Yes. We, yeah. We, we hung out and then we did your podcast. Yep. Exactly. Well, I just know a lot more because I watched The Blind Side. So, <laughs> that's how she found out all this information. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's all there. Read in between. It's all, it's, all the directors. It's all commentary. in the movie. <laughs> we should change Michael Orr's Wikipedia picture to you, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and see how long it takes for people to <laughs> for people to realize <laughs> that fucking that'd be hard. Wait, oh yeah, because you can do that. Yeah, yeah. You can do you that can, with Wikipedia. Just yeah. like fucking change it. That's actually really funny, <laughs> dude. I know, but yeah, that's funny. That's funny about the blind side because I was a cheerleader. Yeah, you know? that your, is funny. What was your best memory? Did it work out? Did you get? Did you get the girl? No. <sighs> No, why not? You know what? You know what the best way to get a cheerleader is is actually to become the star of the football team, not to become the star, the star of the fucking cheer team. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> what? Yeah, he is. But you right. get so much you... more FaceTime with them, and you. Get but to also, them like, and show I'm like, it's made me immune to hot women. Yeah, I get that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I, like I fucking, I'm so immune to hot women. Like, you, like just because you're high doesn't. But that's a good zero. thing because I got to know these fucking girls. The gross. Yeah. They're fucking gross. Yeah. And I fucking, some of them to this day, I still do not like. Uh, and they're still fucking hot. Do you mean they're they're gross like their 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 behavior and their personality? Yeah, that. And they can smell too. Mm. Yeah. Girls are really gross too. I was like, huh, yeah. some of the girls I cheer with, bro, I ain't going to say names because I still talk to them motherfuckers, but. I'm sure you heard a couple farts and you were like. Eh. I'm like, why the fuck you do I'm that? Now. <laughs> yeah. Turns out. And farting is like my biggest pet peeve when people fart around me. That's why uh, Tyler became bi. His girlfriend farted, and he was like, "I'm gonna go suck a dick to wash <laughs> Never off, again. <laughs> Never you guys are again. fucking me with this. No, I'm not. It's so funny. It's so funny. Uh, is there anything about Tyler in that uh, bio? Uh, <laughs> Tyler Creator has a big crush on you. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's the reason uh, Odd Future made it like triple X. <laughs> Yeah, half the document is like stuff that's gonna happen to you. It's really yeah. weird. Like stuff, like stuff five years stuff into the future. Stuff that's gonna happen to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, uh, wait. What was? Wait. Uh, no, never got the girl. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, because I was just also like I was a weirdo, and also I was very angry as a kid. Mm. 
So yeah, all that that combination, like girls weren't attracted yeah, to that. Yeah, crust punk and angry. Yeah. I, I wasn't a crust punk. <laughs> so you got initiated, Those motherfuckers bro. were, oh, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of have no choice. Yeah. When I, were you a crust punk? How old? I wasn't a crust punk. Or when did you almost get initiated? Uh, That was, damn, I think I was like 17. It's like oh, how I'm okay. not, like, no. I, I'm not a Catholic, but I was raised Catholic. Like, you were raised crust punk. Right? <laughs> I was you're, raised you're, crust you're, you're not crust Because I don't dude. dress like that. You see these fucking velvet and yeah. fucking vans I got on? What Does that look crusty to you? No, those are no, those are those are nice. Suede Fucking ones. fire! Those are blue suede. I know. I like those a lot. Uh, do you ever see that video? That guy throwing that girl up, and uh, he drops her. No, he sniffs his fingers, and <gasps> they catch. There's him. no real life to that, really. Fired up. This is bro. Let me tell you something. Yeah, let me see how real. Is this real life. I feel like I'm getting trolled this whole episode. Is this it? Uh, yep. This is it. Oh my god, I'm terrified to watch this. First of all, is there any excuse for his hand to be on her vagina? Yes. So it's not that. on her vagina. It's like his hand's like this. It's like, you know, on her, because she's like sitting on it. Okay. So it's like he's like a seat for her. So he's like, <laughs> look at me fucking doing cheer moves on here. Man, fuck you guys. <laughs> I get my glitter out. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh come, on. No, no. No. come on. Come on. No. Come on. No. Because I tell you what, the last thing you want to do is snip a fucking girl's area after we're out there in the fucking sun doing cheer moves all fucking day, sweating in those hot ass uniforms. Unless there you're a sick pervert yeah, that you just said got him hard. There are <laughs> some guys that that's all they want to do. There are some guys that just got, they're swelling up right now in their cars listening to it after that. They it's are? Yeah. We got some real freak sex perverts listening yeah. to yeah. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that you guys' fucking audience? Oh, uh, they're yeah. eating poop and doing weird shit, dude. Oh, speaking of eating poop. Eating poop, have you heard of, oh. Yeah. What? Let's see if we were on the same page. The congressman, the Spanish guy? I was way off. Continue. Go on. You first. I was talking about a guy named Gigi Allen, who uh, was an old punk rocker mm. who died in like 93 or 95 or something like that. I know, 93. He, uh, this guy would shit on stage yeah, go and to fucking, <laughs> <laughs> and like rub it all over his face and throw it at the crowd. Well, that's just what? punk rock. No, it's not. <laughs> no, that's just punk rock. That's crust. That's, that's crust that's punk. Crusting. <laughs> yeah. That's crusting, dude. It's crust. That's like, so gross. so cross. Look at it. Go ahead. Scroll, scroll Wait, up a little scroll bit. scroll up. That's him right there. Dude. I don't he, get he, it. That's like real blood, too. He would get in fights on. He would, he would fight people in the crowd. He's, so he would like smash the mic on his head, and then it would like create blood, and then he'd start fighting people and shit. Ooh. His name's Gigi Allen. Mm. Okay, now look up. Uh, and I'm Yeah, let's see this Congress. I'm serious. Look up man eating poop sex slave. Oh. This real life? And then Spain, I think. How do you guys find all this shit? Reddit. Oh, yeah. Spanish official resigns. Second one. Is that Spanish him? official resigns after video leaks of him offering himself as sex slave, eating his own excrement. So okay. people get hard from that. Mm. Yeah, of course. Some people do. You can see like little cli- little screen grabs. Yeah, little again. screen yeah. grabs of him Zo- fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can see little screen grabs yeah. of him eating. That's, eating as, close as, I, that's that? as close as I need to get to that. Google, show me this guy's balls, please. Google. You about to zoom in? Oh, oh that's, that's, nuts. that's quite. That's quite close. Damn. But yeah, that's this I mean, is this isn't punk rock though. The other guy, no, that, guy yeah, that, this guy, is, that guy's just being that yeah. guy just fucking I don't know. He's just a lost soul. That'd be the most punk rock thing ever is to be on stage and be like, I am now this audience's sex sex slave. Use me however you want. And just to get to buy like hundred and fifty punk rock guys. <laughs> that's punk rock, dude. That's letting your fans <laughs> you. So Have you guys rock. been to like a hardcore show or anything Never like that? Alive. You guys know what it's like? No. I'm too scared. I, I would love to go. I, I like grunge music, so I don't know if it's just, it wouldn't be like the same vibe. Hardcore is like, it's a, it's intense. I'd break like glass if I got caught. Yeah. yeah. Did you, you ever go to the so Viper fragile. Room? I mean, look at me. I've been to the Viper I Room. I can in your that pocket. That scary. I went to, a, I went to, when I was 26 years old, around here, guys' this age, oh. uh, I got a handy from a older lady at the Viper Room. Sick. Mm. That sounds yeah. awesome. I went to go see some, like, I went to go see this fucking rock band, and, uh, they, they obviously have like an older audience too, and she had to be like fifty something at the time, and I was twenty six. And then she just fucking casually just stuck her hands down my pants and just fucking. She jacked while, off in the room while the while the band was playing. And then That's you awesome. looked up; it was Tyler the Creator. I did. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled off a mask. 
And he said, I'm, I'll, I'll never tell anyone. <laughs> I'll fight to the tooth and nail. I was like, please don't tell anyone this. <laughs> <laughs> what, and she... But then I made her stop because her husband was on the other side, right? Oh. Freaking going down her panties. Oh, man. And so she was giving me a handy. He was in her panties. <gasps> and he was... And I was just like, I can't do this. Yeah, it's fair. It just oh. felt weird. Yeah. Was he like checking in on you being like, hey, are you... Like he, <laughs> like he wanted you he because you know some guys want their wives no to be I don't, he that. didn't know because oh, yeah. uh she was like babe go get me a drink he's like okay i got you and that's when she started doing it man and then, and then not tell and then later. well because then when like then by the time he got back the band started playing right so the band's on stage playing and she's just going at it and i was like oh whatever you know keep going you know and then uh once i saw her like like kind of like moaning or whatever and him like kind of like I saw his hands down her pants and I was like <sighs> how'd you st- stop. how'd you stop her did you just be like yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like just grabbed it and that's like, fair I, I wouldn't want to be rude you know yeah like, I don't want to be rude yeah I'm like hey I'm, I'm good I'm gonna go it's really nice for you to jack me off in public but I, yeah I got it. dude and everybody was just looking at it just like having that's oh. hilarious <laughs> yeah <laughs> now you're too famous to get jacked off at a punk rock show too famous yeah I've been, I've, I've been, I mean, I've had some handies at clubs and shit. Really? Recently? Yeah. Not recently. This is back in drinking days. While oh, you're on stage true. performing? No, no, not comedy <laughs> clubs. Like, this is like no, clubs. Like, oh, I was like, <laughs> I was like, that'd be funny. And for my next trick, <laughs> 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 I need a, I need a beautiful girl, beautiful girl. Uh, no. Bring, bring out the blind host. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me see if you can tell Dick or this. dildo. <laughs> Dick or dildo. <laughs> Yeah. Guys, we're taking a quick break. We want to talk about men's health issues. Cancer prevention screening is important, okay? Did you know one man every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer? In fact, testicular cancer is the most common form of cancer among men aged 15 to 35. With April being National Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, our friends over at Manscaped have partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to help spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Visit manscaped.com slash TCS to learn how to check yourself for early signs of cancer. Guys, go do it. Be healthy. Be safe. And as always, you can use our promo code FRIDAY, F-R-I-D-A-Y, for 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra features two interchangeable skin-safe blade heads. Standard one for taking a little off the top and a new foil blade to go smooth and sleek. Manscaped will be donating $50,000 to the Testicular Cancer Society. It's a generous donation. Guys, it's a good company. They want to, they want to support people. They want to, they want to bring awareness to health. They, they, I mean, it's just they, they're so good at what they do. So while you're at it, grab 20% off plus free shipping with code FRIDAY, F-R-I-D-A-Y. Because like a famous American philosopher once said, take care of your chicken, your balls, and your mentals. Let's get back into the upper... Sword. No, it was like, yeah, like back in the day when I would go to clubs and shit, like, you know, just dancing and stuff. And all of a sudden, girls would just reach back and be like, yo, I like that. Mm. And then just fucking. Dun, 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 dun. You guys ever had that? <laughs> that happens no, to I've us never been. when we're on the college tours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I've yeah. actually, I've, I don't think I've ever. No, never. Never? No. Never handy at a club? <laughs> no, no. On a dance floor? Never. Yeah. We're, uh, Christian, too we're Christian boys. Yeah, we grew up in Catholic school, so it's tough. Where are you from? I'm from Dallas. Sorry I keep pointing. You're from it's Dallas. It's okay. That's fine. <laughs> I used to live in Texas. Where? Uh, where? I used to live in Athens. Oh, nice. Okay. East Texas, near like yeah, Tyler. Yeah, wow. All that stuff. Okay. I turned in college out there. My, uh, are you familiar with all the uh, creepy, like... In Athens? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so... So Athens is like... So the, for those that don't know... Emily and uh, Liam. Well, but I know you went to Trinity Valley Community College, so that's fine. <laughs> you really did. Some... She's showing off now. Yeah, I know, right not yeah. now. All right, I'm done. I'm done, guys. I'm done. So the 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 city I lived in, Athens. You can look this up too. It was like one of the like I don't know if it still is, but it was like uh, one of like the top most satanic cities mm-hmm. in the country. No way. Yeah. And they uh satanic it said at this Texas satanic city. So those uh those graves right there, yeah, mm-hmm. to the left was this guy and something Fuller. It was this place is called Fuller's Park. And that was a wife and a husband, uh Reverend Fuller or Doctor Fuller or something like that. And he used to have these like monkeys or whatever. 
Uh, and there's like these monkey cages, like just to the left of those graves, like a little further down. And basically what would happen, he treated those monkeys bad. Right. And then one day they got like, uh, they somehow got out and fucking, uh, I think killed him and his wife or something like that. Something crazy. Yeah. So my girlfriend, wait, how you know about this? So my girlfriend, her best friend is from Athens and she's an author and she's writing a book based on Athens, like all the creepy Satanic stuff shit, yeah. but we were gonna drive to athens and try to go in the tunnels because you know there's like yeah. the rumored pentagram shaped tunnels but then Bro, COVID, it's so crazy you're then, saying all but this but then covid happened so we didn't go but we were gonna go look for the tunnels and go Bro, in. this is so crazy you're saying all this so yeah this was like like when i was like 19 when i was like cheering there 19 to like 20 or something or 22 or something like that uh and it's so fucking crazy you're saying this but yeah there's like like something about like the tunnels that form like a pentagram yeah dude that's yeah. fucking and then there was wild. like these train tracks or a train like somewhere a train like got derailed or something like that and all the or, or a bus fell off a bridge or something and a bunch of kids had died and like if you go around there you can kind of like at at night you can kind of hear like you can hear like childlike voices yes dude this remember. is i can't believe i've never heard about this yeah well you the only way you would know about it is like you would have to know, like, you would have to know of that city. Yeah, you, honestly, you just got to be like, no one outside of Texas is gonna have any idea. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah like, like, yeah, because I'm I'm deep in the spooky YouTube wormholes. Yeah, and I haven't. And seen so it. what we had to do, and there was this abandoned hospital that was there too, where, um, oh my gosh, oh I don't know about this. So been at the Texas abandoned hospital, it was like in the middle of this neighborhood, and it was abandoned for like years, years, and they just kept it there. There it is, right there. That's Holy so fuck. creepy. And so people used to go up in that bit. Yes. Yeah, they, this is like yo. Every... This is wild. It's wild having like being able to talk to someone else about this. And so the uh, the people like e everyone would say like, whatever you do, just like after you leave these kind of places, don't go home. Like go somewhere else. Oh, okay. Because otherwise, like you'll track it. Some people could like there there could be some motherfucker following you. So don't go, don't immediately go home. Just go somewhere else, hang out for a while, then go home. What? The so that's what they used to tell us whenever, like, like you can go visit that place, but and we, dude, I'm telling you, we used to go to that that Fuller's Park all the fucking time, and like, and then this yeah. hospital too. I think my homies still have photos of them like going in that bitch. That's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. And I, I don't know if the, I don't know if it's still up, you know. But uh, the, yeah, it's just a hospital, and they had uh, what what do they where they used to throw the bodies down. This let the body slide down and shit. What do they call that? Infirmary. Oh, like in you a, mean like they don't let them slide down, but you know what I'm. Are you talking say. about like incinerating the bodies? Uh, like, can we look up the word incinerate? Talk, when they when they cremate them? Nope. No. They talking about no, like a like a Jeepers, mass grave. Jeepers creepers when the guys sh throwing the bodies down that down tunnel. the chute. Yeah, I think that's what they used to do back in the day. Damn, I think. Don't quote me on this. It's crazy. That's, Dude, well, my so my friend was saying, the girl that grew up there, that, like people would like go to the tunnels, and then like later that week, I, this only happened once as far as I know. Like their dog was skinned alive and like thrown in their front yard because they were like going to the tunnels. Like someone was like, "You're go, you're getting too close." <sighs> their dog was skinned alive. Yeah. Oh. How did they recover from that as a family? Um, pro probably. Just, I was like, this shit was scary, dude. Yeah, when I was when I was when I was living there. Like it was just terrifying. I was always terrified that whenever nighttime would just hit in Athens, I'd always freak out just because <laughs> of the shit I knew. Yeah, you know what I mean. Ah, oh, fuck! I want to go now, dude. No, you don't. Is Not to that shit. Well, I just want to go. Like, we should all go. Should we? We, we should, should go ghost. You know, fuck it. We should. We get a big YouTube live. Ooh, ghost scared and impaired. Scared and impaired. Our buddy has a ghost hunting show where you go and scared uh, impaired. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. There's another. There's a because uh, I lived in uh, Louisville, Kentucky too. There's like something out there. I think an abandoned. Were you Were you at Louisville when? Um, um, I was only there. Donovan for, Mitchell was there. I was only there for one year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, nine ten. Uh, what, what's the abandoned? Well, yeah. What is it, what is it called? Waverly Hills. Sanatorium. What is it called? Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Sanatorium. Yes, that's another. 
That's another joint. I think that one actually has been on Ghost Hunters. Oh, there's a really fucking freaky one, too. Look at that shit. So you guys are into that shit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You fuck with ghost shit? Oh, yeah. I love it. Damn. I I just can't. Why you love it? I love the unknown. I love alien shit, too. I like not knowing about stuff. Alien stuff is hard for me to get into. Really? Yeah, alien stuff doesn't freak me out. I don't feel one way or the other about it. I, I'm, I'm I'm deep in it. Really? And it's terrifying. Right? You dude. feel the same way? Because I'm like, if I, if I don't see it, then I'm like, whatever. Yeah, once, yeah. If once, I saw it, I'd freak the fuck out. But once, Yeah. Once you but get like, deep this enough, shit? Dude, once you get deep enough in aliens, this the, the thought that they're coming from other planets is the nicest theory there is. I'm on I'm on the ultra terrestrial pact right now, and it's is that a group text? No, it's just, <laughs> that's just that's a theory that the aliens are uh, they live on Earth and they have lived on Earth for much longer than us, and that maybe we, they just been here have, with us. Have you heard of the the dark? But also, why aren't they coming out and say something? Well, have they you have. heard of the dark forest theory? The, apparently, this is in Three Body Problem, which I haven't watched or read but I'm, I'm going to read it soon, um, that like if you're in a dark forest, it sounds like there's no animals around you. It sounds like you're alone. But if you hear like a twig snap in the distance, every predator in the forest is going to immediately turn and face that direction. And so it's like we think there's nothing out there and we're sending all these signals out, but it's like every single predator Looking you know, right man, this, freaking, this is making me cotton mouth right now. <laughs> That's how bad I'm freaking out over this shit. I'm like fucking over here like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, it, I guess, yeah, that's why it's hard for me to get into because I'm just so terrified that like, I get scared of things. I do too. You know what I mean? Like, especially when it comes to like that ghost shit and all that stuff. And I'm like. Matt, magicians. Magic- oh, magicians. <laughs> hey, hey, you know it. That's my favorite stereotype, magicians. Black people in magic. Hey. That's real shit. But anyways, what's I talking about? Ghosts. It's just like fucking, you know, I don't know, like like those spirits and all that stuff. And I like I like I've watched ghost hunters and I know they're they're not being harmed or anything like that, but still, like just knowing the fact that that like exists like just freaks me to fuck yeah. out. Yeah. So can you watch horror movies or no? I can watch horror movies for sure. What's your favorite? For the longest one? time I couldn't. The one you know, so it's not even like Ghost movies that fuck me up. There's this movie called The Strangers. Oh yeah, yeah. that's a good one. That movie fucked me up, dude. I think have you they're... have you seen that, Emily? Hell no. See, I, I can watch like I can watch happy scary shit. movies. She but only not fucks shit with like fucking that. Lifetime movies. It, it has to have a concrete story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no. this movie, The Strangers, because this shit could happen. This yeah. is the type yes. of shit I won't watch. Like this is like masks and shit popping Ooh. out in your face. Hell no. Yeah, they're remaking they're, this, aren't they? Also, yeah. also, they're in the middle of nowhere. Yes. Yeah, that part sucks. That's the part that's like freaky. Is like they're in the middle gotta, of nowhere. I gotta rewatch it. And so, so good. like, like any any fucking area in the country that's just like fucking how it, like the next house isn't like a, it's like a mile away. I freak out over that shit. That type of shit scares me. Scares the fuck out of me, right? Dude, me too, because I grew up in pretty much the sticks, so it's so it's like that. Yeah, that's just see. And then well, uh, I'm trying to think what else. Like, like because I was performing in Springfield, Missouri. You ever you ever been out there? No, no. That's where homegirl. That's where uh, the homegirl uh, where her mom had her in the wheelchair and shit. Gypsy, gypsy, oh, gypsy. gypsy Rose. Yes, that's do where. You, that's where. Uh, do you, don't you think Will looks like her? Pull up a photo. <laughs> Pull up a photo. Isn't it unbelievable? <laughs> just wait. Just wait look till at you this, s- Look at this. Uh... Yeah, we, we, we're pretty active. Dude, I just saw a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah. Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you pick the one photo where she looks mentally disabled? <laughs> wait, also look at this. Well, I look. guess she kind of is. Is that your mugshot? Look at the look at the difference between these two. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of beautiful. It's uh, insane. Is that wait? Is that your mugshot? My mugshot? No, the uh, the the other. Oh no, I her edited mugshot? his face onto her body. No, this one. Yeah, I oh, edited oh, his face oh. onto her body. That's yeah. a good edit. <laughs> oh my god! Dude. Yeah, it's insane. I got I get still get DMs every single day about it. Do you really, <laughs> dog? So. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's got wow. Likes. This is the greatest. <laughs> yeah, I just saw a ghost. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's fucking bonkers. But yeah, so Springfield, Missouri is like that where it's like kind of like, you know, 
just and and but a great comedy club there. But I just kind of just stay in the pocket of the downtown area because everything else just like like anything was just like it's just like straight up fields freak me out. You know, children of the corn. But it's so crazy, bro. Children you know of the corn. You know, it's so crazy. Now we're something having- takes a <laughs> part of me. I'm just kidding. But anyways, <laughs> uh, what's crazy about the comedy club in uh, Springfield? The movie theater where she lost her virginity to the guy is right across the street. <gasps> I didn't know she lost her virginity in the movie theater. Yeah. She got fucked in a movie theater? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How? What, what or, were they I don't know. You don't know this story? No. So the, well, so, I don't know if they ended up having sex. Yeah, they did. In the bathroom. Oh, they fucked oh, in the bathroom. Yeah. yeah, they fucked in the bathroom in the movie theater. Because they, they were talking online, her and that dude. And then the dude, she told the dude to come to Springfield or whatever. He comes out there. He was. She was like, meet, meet me and my mom at the movies, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, they leave the movie theater. Or no, she she leaves the movie. She's like, Mom, I need to use the restroom or whatever. And she wheelchairs off to the fucking restroom. And dude's in there. And then they fucking, they smash. Damn. Yeah. That's hot. Yeah. Damn. That's hot. Banging a disabled chick in the movie theater bathroom. That's <laughs> our listeners disabled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> our listeners are gonna have to pull over. Yeah. <laughs> Throw their hats on. Really, do you guys really have that horny of an audience? <laughs> no. Oh, so, oh, so, the, so that's not true. And also the Tyler shit. The Tyler true. stuff's Tyler true. Tyler shit's true. Knock on wood. Hand to God. Right hand to God. Tyler, the creator, is bisexual. I thought he was trolling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I mean, I respect it. Yeah. If you're by, you're by. Yeah. But if you're by, goodbye. <laughs> oh, dude. Let's go. Emily, clip that. Clip uh, 11 21 38. Oh, homophobic sayings of the week. Brought to you by the <laughs> do you guys have a lot of homophobic sayings? Uh, it's uh, a segment we do here. <laughs> oh, is it? All right. We're, we're, all right. Well, you got, all right. Who, who's going first? Oh, that, yours, that, that's the one. That's one for the week. Can't, can't give them too many off the top. Oh, yeah. yeah they're can't. hard to come up with. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Well, I mean, you, this is episode sixty. Yeah. Like we've uh, it's like one hundred twenty each now. It's just <laughs> yeah. tough. They get less and less creative. We we do have a segment we can get into though. Yeah. Wait. Do, do we have time for cracker of the week and characters? Let's just let's yeah. do, let's do characters. We've because we we've done a lot of crackers on this episode. Yeah, we kind of have. We we've kind of ripped. And ripped. I ain't no cracker. <laughs> well, you don't have to. You don't have to be white to be a cracker of the week. That's that's yeah, a rule that's here. A, that's a real. That's a rule here. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, just, wait, it's, can I show one cracker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have time, Shmo? Do you? Uh, my next pod's at twelve in, in oh, the valley. It's Eleven twenty-four. Okay, let's do. Oh, characters. you're not let's making that. Care. Let's do characters. I mean, yeah, even if I'm a little late, it's my pod. Right, let's do characters in one the. All right. Yeah, sorry about that. You could do cracker. The no, week. yeah, yeah. It's it's my pod. So. Oh. If I'm a few minutes late, it's it's my show. Who do you guys have on today? Jason Ellis. Oh, nice. You ever meet him? No, I've never met him. Jason Ellis is fucking goaded. He seems cool as fuck. Yeah, that motherfucker is insane. And okay. dope. He's insane. He's a... Uh, and dope. And? And dope. <laughs> okay, oh, we're, so, just, we're just doing like little improv. Little improv. Oh, little, yes, little and. improv characters. Yeah, little, little, little yes, yes and. and. Okay, do yours. All right, I got one. This is this is, this is is on a lighter note. Okay. Oof. Um. You guys are friends. Uh, you're Owen Dungeon. You're Bernard Mack. And okay. you're going to see mm-hmm. uh, Expendables 5 at the movie. And I'm the movie theater employee. I'm scanning your tickets in. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Hey, good, man. Oh, are you we're, good? Uh, yeah, yeah I, I have yeah. his ticket. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Two tickets. Yep. Nice. Expendables 5. Yeah. yeah. That's Super awesome. stoked. Yeah, I saw yeah. it the other day. It's sick. Yeah, nice. it's so okay, fun. Nice. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. First theater on your right. Enjoy, guys. Cool. Right. Thank also, you. real quick, just please, rem- uh, just we have to remind you to silence your cell phones and please don't talk during the movie. Sorry, they make me say that. So, it's oh like, yeah, oh. I mean, uh, yeah. we're gonna be locked in. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, re- yeah. I, I want to see the movie. <laughs> so, enjoy the film. Yeah. yeah, thank All you. All right. Yeah. Um, also, they so if you see like a 90 year old naked woman that walks through the theater with a basket of homemade bracelets, uh, she's going to offer them to you. Like they're a gift. It's a scam. She's going to try to get you to cash app or sell her or something. (laughs) Just ignore the bracelets. They're not a gift. She's trying to scam you and get money. (laughs) Oh, they make me say that. So that's the last thing. There's a naked woman in the theater. Also, 
just in case of emergency, sorry, they make me say this too. One of the exit, the emergency exit doors is just like a joke door. It doesn't work. So if <laughs> the building is on fire, you're trying to leave and you're like, this door isn't working. It's a prank door. Try the other one. That one, even if you open it, just it leads you around right back to where you were standing before. It's like a prank door we have. Uh, why would they put that yeah, why in? Would they, why would you put it? I just, what people, I, just yeah. start, I just started working here the other day. It was like my third shift. So I don't know. But this, I just have to say all this shit. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna yeah. like a fire marshal is gonna come yeah. through. Enjoy Expendables Five, guys. But, wh- but I heard I heard there's like a t- oh wait oh fuck there's one more thing that yeah sorry <laughs> sorry they make me say this too. Uh, could you give me a big old back scratch with your strong hands? Could you guys scratch my back with your strong old big hands? You want both of us or just one of us? It says just give me a back scratch with your big old strong hands. They make me say that too. I don't know. I don't know what's going well, on. Well, Bernard, your hands are bigger than mine. Yeah, I get like do I have to to get in? I, I don't know. Can I see the movie without doing yeah. that? Yeah, I think I just have to say that. I also have to say, fuck. I have to say, fuck, that stinks. Oh, fuck, that stinks. What is that? Oh, fuck, that stinks. And that's like the last thing they make me say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And dude, there's dude, there's whole, I won't give you any spoilers, but there's hilarious pussy eating jokes like peppered throughout the film. <laughs> Har- Harrison, Harrison Ford eats a chick's pussy at one point. And he's like, what is this, pussy? I didn't even know he was in the fifth yeah. one. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. He's in there. He's classic Harrison Ford where he's just like disappointed in this chick's pussy. <laughs> Enjoy Expendables 5, guys. Okay, can we go now? Yeah, yeah can we? All yeah. right, thank you. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I liked that one. Yeah. That was great. <sighs> yeah, that, that's it. Oh. Uh... <laughs> This is the most stressful segment ever. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I thought you were going somewhere else with that. Right. Because this past weekend, I went to a Korean spa, and everyone's naked. What happened? Everyone's naked in there. Yep. When we went to go, like, check in and pay, they were like, we just have to let you guys know there is, like, someone in there who identifies as a woman. So if you're uncomfortable with that, we just have to, like, let you know. And Emily made a big stink about it. No, I did not. Is that real life? Did that really happen? There was a, there was a, yeah, she, she was old and she had a really nice set of titties. So I was surprised because they didn't look fake, but then you it turns out wing it wing? was just a bra that like had built in titties. Did you see her cock? And yeah. Yeah. I don't care yes. about the titty. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, interesting. Yep. Was it like massive or like? It was like basically non-existent, but it was there. And they were older. Yes. Like, who did you go to a naked Korean spa with? Yeah. I went, Why would you do this? Wait, what are you doing on the weekends? <laughs> I went with one of my friends because it's like they just have like saunas, cold plunges. Like, yeah, yeah. I've been to one. Yeah. And you just happen, it just, you're just naked there. You know who took me to one? Bobby Lee. Really? Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, he bullied me into it. It was like when I first moved to LA. I didn't even know him that well. <laughs> and he just fucking took me there. <laughs> He was like, he was like, hey man, you want to go to a spa? I go, no, <laughs> no, I'd rather not at all. And then he was like, okay, cool, because we, we were eating dinner, me, him, and, and another comic, uh, Will Burkhart. And then uh, I know Will. Yeah, 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 Will's great. And so, you know, he was like, oh well, where we were eating in Koreatown. He was like, well, hey, it's hard to order Ubers around here. Let me let me take you guys like further out so you can like you know, uh, be able to order Ubers, you know, easier. And I was like, oh, okay. And I'm telling you, th- I've been in LA for like a few weeks, maybe. And uh, and so we were driving. He drives us to the spa. And he turns <laughs> off his car and goes, we doing this or what? And I was like, what? No. And he goes, he goes are you going to be a bitch about it? I go, I'm not six years old. You're not going to get me to do something by calling me a bitch. You know what I mean? And then literally... Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I, I went. I fucking worked. I went up in there. He goes, just take all your clothes off, and he goes, just put them in a locker, and then we're just gonna fucking have fun. Now, when we were in the sauna, Bobby was doing high kicks in front of me, <laughs> talking to me, giving me advice on comedy, and I was like, "Why are you doing that?" And he goes, "Don't make it weird. Just listen. Let's listen to the advice." He was like giving. He goes, "You got to do as many mics as you can. You got to do all this." <laughs> and he's just kicking in front of me, nude. And then after it, you know where he dropped me off? At a Seven Eleven somewhere in Koreatown. <laughs> he just let you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He goes, "All right, man. Catch you later. Catch and release." Then the next day, I go to hang out at the comedy store, and uh, someone goes, "I heard Bobby saw your dick," and I was like, "Who said that?" And they were like, "Bobby," and I was like, "Oh, well, yeah." <laughs> 
He's not like a victim. <laughs> so scary. Look at me. Look at me. That's so Either scary. Way I'm sitting right now. Just... What year was this? 2018. Damn. Yeah, I'm telling you, I just had, I just barely had moved to LA. But he was like, hey, man, like after my set, you, uh, you guys want to go eat? I Did... was like, oh, for real? He goes, yeah, I'll pay. And I was like, wow. I was like, yeah. And then. That's I end up so, at a spot. Did Will, that's so did Will terrifying. Go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will was drunk. He was like, "Yeah, that's what I can do it." <laughs> and I was like, mm. "Yeah, dude, that's fucking awesome." I kind of hope that happens to me with Bobby Lee. Yeah, I feel like I was. I thought I was going to make it that next week. Turns out, still trying. <laughs> You're like, you know? this will get me past the story. Yeah, I was like, oh, this can definitely get me past. <laughs> Damn, I'm, I'm being a movie next I just week. Skip the line. <laughs> yeah, I just skip the line for sure. And then fucking, nope. Do you ever bring that up to Bobby when you see him? Yeah, he fucking. Because <laughs> 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 I'm like, why'd you do the high kicks? <laughs> yeah, that's the part where I'm like. Yeah, and I'm telling you, like, he was just fucking. His leg was getting up there. <laughs> yeah, dude, he was peacocking for you. Oh, gosh. He was like, don't make it weird. Just sit down and chill. I'm that's like. Awesome. It's just never not weird in those scenarios. Never not. Well, when someone's high kicking in front of your face naked. Was it an enjoyable experience? This <laughs> fall? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think that's your walk-off story. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> that's my walk-off story. That's- that's we're not gonna be able to top that story dude. i know i'm glad we went long enough to get there that's fucking hilarious i know because yeah she brought over the fucking little yeah that did happen your transphobic story yeah that was I transphobic. Did, I'm not, transphobic i was not judging transphobic transphobic, transphobic. transphobic. Not you're literally judging. a turf you're a turf you if anything turf. i saw because it's not a concrete story <laughs> <laughs> if, if anything i thought she had nice titties so whatever you trans that's, exclusionary that's radical that's my only turf <laughs> turf <laughs> turf <laughs> You guys are you turfed up. That's the Almost Friday podcast, guys. Thank you, Chappelle. Chappelle. Thank you so thank much you. for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. You guys made me feel like a star. Oh, would you, you like to plug? Star. Plug some dates? Plug yeah, some... plug anything. What do I got? Oh, I'll be in San Diego uh, April 28th. That's the next headlining date I got that I can actually remember. Sick. Where are you then doing? I'll be in like Portland, Bakersfield. Uh, where am I playing? Uh, Mic Drop Comedy Club. Mic Drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Mike can drops. people find your dates? Oh, uh, ChappelleLacy.com. If you don't know how to spell my name, you know the funniest thing about fucking people with my name is like people that follow me, right? Will straight up be like Chappelle and spell it so wrong. It's so <laughs> and it'd be like you're so funny, and I'm go you, and then I go to look to see if they follow me. Yeah, they follow me. And I'm like, how, like, how'd you find me initially? <laughs> 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 and just spell my name completely wrong. But yes, yeah, so S H A P E L L A C E Y. That's how you spell it. Boom. Check them out. Follow them. San Diego. If you came to my show in San Diego at the mic drop, you're gonna have a better time. At Chappelle's. So Why did you have a good time? Or? I had a good time, but you're just I'm just not as good at stand up as you. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great time. Thanks for coming out. Um, and and uh, yeah, hey guys, we're gonna be in Austin. Uh, this this comes out this this weekend, uh, Friday and Saturday at the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Oh yes, doing, oh hell yeah! Doing live, doing a live pod, live sketch, doing live sketch show, live sketch show. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah they don't want to invite me. That so. Oh, that's how you guys started. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bro, you guys yeah. pulled me into a situation I've never done before. <laughs> yeah. I was sitting here stressing out over this. Like, am I supposed to say something stupid? <laughs> No, Sometimes, right? I'm 37, yo. Like, what the fuck, guys? You can't do that. I could have had, had, had a heart attack stressing out over this shit. And I've got an I improv. T- I tried to text you and warn you. <laughs> I was like, we do improv character bits. That was all I said. I didn't explain it. I should have read it. The font on my phone is fucking huge. <laughs> I'm 37. No, Emily, you got anything to plug? Yeah, what are you doing, um, Emily? Go to the Korean. Just don't. No, just kidding. Don't go there. Why, why not go there? Why, 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 why not go there? Why not go there? Because it was dirty and disgusting. Whoa! 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 Emily! Oh, not, not the people. Just like there were so many people there. I couldn't. Like you can't relax. Oh, my God. There, were, like, oh. there was literally like hundreds of people in there. You said there were like roaches, right? Around you? You said they were all like roaches. What are they like? You You're going to make me insecure about being like transphobic. Oh! <laughs> you should be. I'm you not. Should be I said she had nice titties. Don't say trans. What? Guys, <laughs> he's trying to really freak her out. <laughs> yeah, the way she says trans, it's yeah. like, ooh, yeah. like, yeah. Ugh. there's like, you're, it's like you're spitting it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! All right, all right. Yeah, follow guys. me on Instagram. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come out to Austin. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.